The 2023-24 season has been a tough one for Manchester United, but Eric Ten Hag has been dealt a bad hand with injury issues hampering his side's campaign. The likes of Lisandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, Rafael Varane, Tyrell Malaysia, Mason Mount and Anthony Marshall have all had long spells on the sidelines this season, preventing Ten Hag from playing strongest team. In fact, the one time United managed to field what could be their best XE was in the 4-3 win away to Wolves, probably United's best attacking display of the season. The injury issues have had a big impact and without them, the pressure may not be mounting on Ten Hag as much as it currently is. So, if United could have managed to go injury-free all season long, what would have happened? Let's take a look. To set up this simulation, we used Football Manager 2024, making sure each player who has spent time on the sidelines this season was fully fit. This is what happened. With no injury issues, Martinez made the most appearances for United, with Varane partnering the defender in 46 of United's games. A fully fit Luke Shaw made 31 appearances while Casemiro was a regular, playing 47 times. United were better in attack, highlighted by Rasmus Hodgland's goal count, with the striker managing 28 for the season. Alejandro Garnacho was the best performing player at the club, averaging a rating of 7.46 per game. At the end of the season, Football Manager 2024 put together an overall best United wedding based on performances, statistics, and other metrics. This is what it looked like. Full United Best Axi, 4-2-3-1. Onana, Juan Bissaka, Varane, Martinez, Shaw, Casemiro, Mainu, Garnacho, Fernandez, Rashford, Hodgland. United's best ex nay was pretty self-explanatory, with the only questionable omission being Diogo Delote who missed out to Aaron Juan Bissaka at right back. Casemiro and Kabi Menu made up the midfield pivot, while Garnacho starred down the right with Marcus Rashford on the left. Ten Hag's side performed much better when not having to worry about injuries every week and were involved in a four-way race for the Premier League title. A massive collapse from Arsenal allowed all the teams in the top four a shot at the title, but three draws in United's final five games saw Ten Hag's side miss out and finish fourth. Five draws in their final five games saw Arsenal gift the title to Manchester City, with Pep Guardiola's side winning their final five to win the title on goal difference. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has hit back at comments made by Jose Mourinho about the level of support he has been given during his Old Trafford tenure. Mourinho recently suggested Ten Hag has been given more backing in the transfer market than he received during his time in charge. The former Chelsea and Real Madrid boss spent two and a half years at Old Trafford, overseeing proceedings between May 2016 and December 2018. During that time, the Portuguese chief drafted in a cluster of big-name players for big-money transfer fees, including Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku. Pogba returned to United in August 2016 for a club record fee of 89 million euro. However, Mourinho said he didn't receive the same level of backing during his tenure as Ten Hag has. United have spent north of 400 meters since Ten Hag was appointed in April 2022, including a 179 dime pointer on Andre Onana, Mason Mount, and Rasmus Hodgland last summer. Ten Hag has hit back at Mourinho's claim, insisting the Portuguese is the only United manager who has been supplied with the players he wanted since Sir Alex Ferguson retired in 2013. Apart from Mourinho, the manager didn't get the players they wanted, and that is what you need, Ten Hag told ESPN Brazil. I am confident we will achieve our goals, but it is a tough competition. It is not a two-horse race anymore. There are seven, eight teams in the Premier League who all go for the title, who all have very good squads. So if you want to go to the title, you have to construct that squad. United plan to be active again in this summer's window and have identified three areas they wish to strengthen as a priority. Center back, central midfield, and attack. The club, however, does plan to sign two center backs. Hinting at what United will need to try and add to their squad this summer, 
Ten Hag, speaking at Thursday's press conference, said, Yes, that is one of the issues in constructing the squad where we have to improve, to do things better to construct a squad where we have more depth. I think the most important thing is to return players and to get them back. In many positions we created depth, and now in some positions we don't have choices. For instance, the left-back position. Luke. Shaw only 15 starts this season so far, and Terrell, Malaysia 0 starts, not even available. They won the title at Old Trafford in 2002, and the Invincibles survived a stormy finish with Martin Keown congratulating Ruud van Nistelrooy on his penalty miss. But if you know your history, Arsenal have also been walloped 8-2 and 6-1 at the Theater of Fading Dreams this century. And in the Battle of Old Trafford 34 years ago, they were docked two points after an outbreak of Queensberry rules involving 21 players, with David Seaman, the only bystander in a rolling mall of pat-a-cake acquaintance, en route to being champions. Now Arsenal must win at Manchester United again to keep their title crusade on course for a possible test of firm sphincter and rectum on the final day. Skipper Martin Odegaard says they will be inspired by Sylvain Wiltord's goal, which sealed Arsene Wenger's second Premier League and FA Cup double. But if the Gunners are to crown a new generation of history boys and bring the title back to North London after 20 years, the wretched truth is that they will need rivals Manchester City to drop points. And we've all seen this film before. He is always available, he never misses a game and always plays in a good level and always giving energy to a team, and such assets are necessary to be successful. It is also a very subjective criteria to be fit. One is sure, Bruno is a real fighter. Last year, for instance, when we played Brighton in the semi-final, he played with an ankle that was so thick, unbelievable. He couldn't run, but he was still on the pitch. What is fair enough is that Bruno is a very good example for many other players. Arsenal's title chase is full on, but it may also be forlorn. Odegaard said, We have heard the stories of Old Trafford, and we have seen what has happened there before, how much it meant for the club's supporters. It is a part of our history and we want to make the fans happy again. It has been a big goal for a long time to win something, so that's what we are pushing for and we keep going until the end. We have to focus on ourselves. We don't know what other teams will do, but we will keep putting pressure on Man City. Arsenal have prospered on the big stage this season, winning at Tottenham and drawing at City and Liverpool, but they lost their 